Good morning, class. Are you ready to begin math class? Yeah, I am too. Me three. Me too, and I'm so excited about this lesson. This lesson is so cool that it's going to take two days to go over. Oh, so that's, yeah. So that's why we need to be especially careful when we're listening to the lesson so we know what's going on. You I know, know listening ears on. You know that we've already made a doghouse for Tiny, right? <laughs> but we want to be we want it to be warm and welcoming. So what can we do to that? Furniture. Okay, what else? We could put paint. Yeah, we could paint it. Or wallpaper. Paint or wallpaper. That's a great idea. But before we can do that, we need to know like how we can determine what the surface area of an object is. What's that? We're going to get there. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. All right. We already know how to find the area of a shape, but we use that for shapes that are only 2D. So what does that mean? What does 2D mean? Flat. Flat. That's right. That means something is flat. But what if we wanted to find an area of a 3D object or a shape? I have no idea. Well, good thing we're having this lesson today then, Gigi. <laughs> to find a 3D object, we use the surface area. The surface area is the total area of the surface, so the whole outside. So let's look at a cube. That means every surface and like the area of each surface of the cube. Not in the inside, but just the outside. So the outside layer. So like say you were peeling an orange, that kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oranges. So now we need to know how to find the surface area of a shape. Let's look at the cube that we already looked at. Um, to make it easier, well, let's show you if we like unfolded it. So we have a cube, right? Here's a cube. Square. Okay, it's square, but we're going to make a cube by unfolding it. This is what it looks like. It looks like a cross. It does. It does look like a cross. So to do the cube, we're going to say that this is 2, and this is 2. So we know how to find the area of just this one square, right? I got it. How do we do that? Times both together. Yep. So length times width. It's four. Woohoo! Four. Good job. Okay, so how many squares do we have here? Let's count. One, one two, two, three, four, five, five six. Six. Good job. So since they are all equal, what does that mean we can do with just this one square? Times by six. That's right. We can times it by six. So four times six equals? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. And any time you have this, let's say this is inches. That means what's our unit down here? I think that's inch. Inches. Twenty-four inches. And we always put square for to find the surface area at the end of the problem. So 24 inches squared, that's our answer. Okay, so after we do that, let's move on to, or we could simplify that by saying six x squared, right? So whatever the side is, the side length squared times six, because there are six squares, right? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so we'll move on to another shape. Yeah, we're all work out over here. I go to the gym every single day. That looks so awesome. Okay. We're gonna use the top corner. Okay, so let's let's take a rectangular prism, which would be like this. Can I hold it? Yeah. Show the class. Ooh. Oh, I fell down. Oh, walk over here. Ah, Everyone see it? I like it. Okay, so Puggy is holding a rectangular prism. You see how there's a rectangle right here? Yep, I got okay. it. And you see all the different sides? Mm -hmm. So let's see what it would look like if we unfolded it, okay? All right. Here's our rectangle. Yep. And then it's got its side. And then the top. So it's just a little bit longer, right? Yep, looks like a cube, kind of. It does. Okay, 
So for this one, we're going to have six. And then over here, we'll have, let's draw what it looks like. Ooh, that's good. Thank you. You take art lessons? Yes, all the time. Okay, so we're going to have six here. And then a four here. And we'll have two right there. Okay. So let's find just this middle part. We have what? Um, six times two. Six times two. Twelve. Six times two is twelve. And then how many are the same as this one? Four. Four, four, four. Are there four? Four. Mm, maybe. Can I get a lifeline? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go with two. Oh. Okay, so Cause it's different tall. Mm-hmm. So if these were both two or these are both four, then we could do that, right? Oh, yeah. Whew. Okay. So it's twelve. So if there's two like that, what does that mean we can do with twelve? Times two. So twelve times two is what? Twenty-four. Okay, we'll put it over here. Twenty-four. Okay, let's do the next one. What would be next? You want to do the side? Mm-hmm. Okay. Four and two. Four and two? Eight. Eight. And then what do we do with that eight? Times is there two. another one's the same? Times two, because both the ends are the same. That's right. Because it's not a pyramid. For them. So we have 16. Okay. Um, now we're going to do the last one. Which is what? Uh, <clears throat> And four. Six and four. Good job. Six times four is what? Twenty-four. Multiply it by two. Forty-eight. Forty-eight. Good job. So we have all the surface area, surfaces and their areas, but to find the total surface area, we have to add them all together, right? Yep. So what do we get when we add twenty-four, sixteen, and forty-eight? Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Good job. So our total is 88. Oh, you forgot the units. 88 what? Let's say, what, what unit do you want to use? Centimeters. Centimeters. But don't forget, don't forget the uh, squared. Good job. Perfect. 88 centimeters squared. So that's our answer for that one. Are you oh, ready? This is easy. I, I know. Are you ready to try something a little trickier? Yeah, bring it on. Okay. Let's try this. I'll help you during recess. 